There are no private eyes in Ireland. It's too close to being an informer, a dodgy concept. Maybe Anne Hennessy was out of my zone, but it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. She got my juices going. Take one of these. Keep your eyes open. Take one of these. Thanks. Take one of these. Larry. Jack. I got lucky. God bless you, sir. Move on. Uh, yes, I'm on. Move. Jumped up and got shot. Yes, I'm on. There's a pugnacious streak in you. Uh, I used to be one. A dog shade. <laughs> Can you help me? Have you seen this girl? Who's asking? Excuse me. Yeah? Can you help me? Uh, I'm looking for this girl. I haven't seen her, sorry. I'm not a cop. Yeah, right. And I suppose she's not missing either. I thought you were someone else, huh? Yes. The bag, I am sorry. You still drinking? You're still smoking. Me and Bet Davis. She's dead. My point exactly. Been to Mass. Your mother would have liked that. My mother has nothing to do with it, thanks be to Jesus. No, no, son. She does worry about you. Mind your lip. God wouldn't like that. God has nothing to do with it either. You never had a bit of reverence. Oh, I do. I just don't revere the things that you do. Don't tell me they've taken you back on. No. No, I'm helping a friend. Not one of our lost sheep. I'm sure of it. Where's the church on suicide these days? Thinking of leaving us, are you, Jack? This is still the can't-be-buried-in-hallow-ground stance, eh? Ah, you're very much out of touch. Is that an answer? No. That's a sad fact. So what's your favorite poison? Slimline G&T or sex on the rocks? You know it's illegal, Grandad. We're underage. Yeah, pull the other one. This is Galway, drinking capital of Ireland. Show me your ID. <laughs> what are you? A cop or something? Uh -huh. Do you recognize her? No. No? No. Tell me, where do you underage girls earn the cash to keep you in the style to which you're accustomed? Hmm? Planters? Support your local economy? They take everyone, even if you're not 16. What's that? That's Lucy. Mm hmm She died. We're making the scrapbook for her memorial. It's awful what she did. Shut up, Shona. She didn't kill herself. She just fell in. You know, if you are a cop, and if you are any good at your job, you do something about it. May I? Thanks. I'm Blondie. If I were you, I'd save in the Battle of Bleach. You'd be better looking as a brunette. <laughs> Get off, you big perv. How dare you? The eyebrows are a giveaway. <laughs> Adios. Hey, what do you want? Hey, uh, I want to see Mr. Planter. There was me thinking that was some mythical creature like Ronald McDonald. Uh, the owner. Mr. Ford is the manager, but they're not hiring right now. It takes one to know one. I need the work. Go on, then.
Because of my previous career, it was believed I had an inside track. No, I hit Loki and found resolutions. But a minor reputation began to build, and most important of all, I was cheap. Thanks for seeing me. I'm Jack Taylor. You say that name as if it means something? It means zero to me. I'm investigating a missing person, Sarah Hennessy. Are you a policeman? No. Any official standing? Zero. So I have no obligation to talk to you then? Ah, uh, safe, common decency. Ah. Uh, now I have it. I saw you on the paper. Once a guard, right? So there's no good reason not to kick your sorry little ass out of here. Do you know this girl? Sarah Hennessy? I very much thought it. John, get in here now. That's impressive. What? An intercom? <laughs> no, that you remembered her name. Perhaps you're more familiar with this one. Take him out of here, John. Before I call the guards. Thanks, pal. Nice one. The guards. In Ireland, they say, if you want help, go to the guards. If you don't want help, go to the guards. There's a school of thought that says you should never go back. Yeah, well, you must have failed the exam. You were always so polite when I was your superior. I want to see Clancy. Yeah, so the superintendent wants to see you. Superintendent? Motion. Jack Taylor here to see you. OK. Interview room C. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Sergeant, Inspector, Super. See your minister got sacked. Mm. And there's Lampert. Galway's finest. Friends in high places. Demotion, promotion. You get promoted, and I get sacked. You're a hothead, Jack. A good cop, a bit flaky, unpredictable. I prefer to call it risk-taking. And I don't lick ass. So what can I do you for? Well, now her name's Sarah Hennessy. I was wondering if you might tell me whether she's on any of your files. Now, why might that be? I'm looking for her, for her mother. Oh, don't tell me you've turned into some half arse gumshoe. What? Leeching off some poor mother's grief to fill the hole in your own miserable existence. Has this young one committed any crime? Not that I know of. Is there any reason to believe she disappeared in mysterious circumstances? That's what I'm trying to find out. Then there's no reason we should be interested, is there? You could maybe just run her name through the system. What? For old time's sake? Oh, I forgot. I owe you one for the minister, don't I? At least you did the right thing, handing in your notice. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Superintendent. Oh, Jack! By any chance, is that a regulation guard to issue all-weather coat? Hey, Kate, can you help me out? Run those suicides through the computer, see if they work to planters. Not here, Jack. OK, I'll be in the Rushing Dove pub tomorrow night. Don't fret, I won't take the canal path. Well, they say if you fall off a horse, you should get right back on.
the fatal attraction of water. In all my time in the guards, I'd never known two suicides to finish up in exactly the same place. Get his hand. Keep your nose out of other people's business. <laughs> Buy your own shifts next time. Her. I was paying her to stop. <laughs> I have to tell you, things are not looking good. I read that there have been four suicides in Galway in the past few months, Jack. I'm so afraid. I'm sorry, Anne, but all my efforts to date have drawn a blank. Is it possible that Sarah used another name? Her father's? Impossible. Her father walked out on us before she was born. Look, I don't want to worry you and Julie, but... Something's going on in one of the factories in town. I need to get at their employment files, and I need you to help me. Sarah's diaries, notebooks, anything, okay? Of course. She just wanted to get away. Once she left the boarding school, she couldn't settle. She took everything from her last known address. You must have pissed off someone big time. That's what I do. Anyone call the guards? They were the guards. You're cotton. Oh, I saw their shoes at closer range than I wanted. I am. No, no, no news. Sure. Where? Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, Jack. You're around, I think. Hey? As usual. Double Sean. Sometime before Lent. This dump must be even more miserable when you're not drinking. Why'd you patronize the sour bastard? Sean, he's my father, Confessor. Oh, what about me, amigo? You're the reason I need one. I'm always there for you, my friend. It's here if you want it. Well, if that's the case, you can do me a favor. I need a lift. Get a taxi. I need your help to frighten those heavies. Tomorrow, okay? Well, that's different then. Might there be a chance for some Bruce Lee, some high kicks? <laughs> the G Hotel. The last temple built before the bubble burst. I wonder why the feckers called it G. G for Galway, grandiose, greedy, or gay. Good evening, sir. Will you be staying with us tonight then? If I get lucky. Jack. Yeah. 
Have a nice evening. See you later then. Oh, so you kicked with the other foot, Jack. 